Hey friends, it's a Bolo's Day. <laughs> That'll make sense to those of you who watch my regular videos where I usually start the video by saying it's a bins day because I do a lot of thrifting at the Goodwill Outlet bins where I buy clothes by the pound, by weight, and I resell them on ABM Poshmark. But today is a bolo video. I'm so happy that you're here. My name's Quenby. I've been reselling part-time on eBay for over 12 years. I'm a full-time psychotherapist, and this channel is all about thrifting and reselling. And today we're talking about bolos. Bolo, 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 bolo. So what exactly is a bolo? Bolo stands for be on the lookout. So these are brands that sell for more money. They're more valuable, there's something interesting about them. They sell for a higher dollar amount online. Now what exactly is that dollar amount? I've heard resellers say different things. For me, it's something that I can walk into a thrift store and actually find and buy it pre-owned and it's gonna sell for $40 or more. And one of the things I said there is really key and important to bolos, which is these are things that we can actually find. These aren't crazy designers. I'm not gonna be saying things like Louis Vuitton handbags and Manola Blahnik shoes. That would be like a once in a lifetime find. These are items that any of us can walk into a thrift store and have the hope of finding and flipping for good money. So in this video, I'm going to share with you five bolos that I found in 2023, items that I found thrifting in a thrift store at the bins, and I sold them for good money. And then I'm going to share with you five items that I hope to find in 2024. And what's even better is this is a collaboration video. So several other resellers that I know and love will also be making bolo videos. So I will link in the description section links to their videos. So when you're done watching this bolo video, you can go and learn some more bolos at some of our friends' channels as well. Okay, friends, I have notes and I have my phone. <laughs> so this is no joke. We're really gonna do a deep dive into a few of these brands. So let's get started. This first bolo that I found and sold this year was AS98. Please let us know in the comments if you have any experience with these brands. I found these at the bins. They were just laying in the shoe bin, and my bins is $3.49 a pound, so I probably paid $3 to $5 for these. They sold on Poshmark for $125, plus shipping for a pre-owned pair of boots. New, these boots retail, retail around $400 or more. You can see from the images I'm putting up somewhere on the screen that this is a very unique brand of shoes and boots. They're very cool. What they say is we are artists, designers, creators, and craftsmen. Unique personalities create unique fashion. Our inspiration comes from life in designs that are way more than shoes. They're wearable works of art. Now, I, actually, a few of the bolos I'm going to show you today, they've said that on their website. They're wearable works of art. So it's pretty cool. These are kind of moto inspired. They're handcrafted. They're very high quality leather. So if you spot these, be sure to look them up and probably pick them up. This next brand I found was pretty exciting. I've only found it maybe once before in my whole 12 year career. And it is the brand Samso Samso. They're an international brand. They are rooted in Scandinavian design. So it's very utilitarian, minimalist, simple designs, but they are pricey. A sweater from this brand cost about $180. I found this sweater in a size XL. It was light purple cashmere, had a little stains. So I found it at the bins. I got the stains out and it sold very quickly in less than a week for $50 on eBay plus shipping. Um, you can see from the images, it's very kind of simple classic lines. And they say our main responsibility is to create outstanding items that we can be proud of. Um, they have a lot of social, environmental, and ethical responsibility in their company. They're really beautiful items. This, this sweater that I sold was so soft and gorgeous, and it's a very simple tag. Be sure when I'm showing you things on the website to take a look at their uh, name brand because that's what it looks like on the label. The font that you see on the website, that's what you're going to see on the clothing garment too, so be, be sure to keep an eye out for that. Another brand that I, and I just found this one recently, so it's pretty exciting. Another bolo I found was Avant Toi. I found this sweater 
it was cashmere, so I thought it was pretty high quality, and it had kind of a neat, neat distressed ombre kind of fade to it. I didn't know the brand, but it was good enough quality, and it was cashmere, so I picked it up. It sold in less than a week on Poshmark for $111 plus shipping. These retail new for like $695, friends but I found it at the bin, so you have a hope of finding it out there too. They call themselves Art to Wear. These sweaters are painted by hand. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> They're Italian made and they, they consider themselves luxury fashion and again, Art to Wear. And I wanna say that when I was researching a lot of these Bolo brands for this video, there is so much more emphasis. There's so much more emphasis on sustainability eco-friendliness, carbon footprint, using organic fabrics. There's so much more of that than I've seen in the past, so I'm really glad that this is the direction that fashion is moving in. Another brand that I found, this is pretty interesting, the brand is Orslo, and I think on some of the tags it says Japanese denim. Here's just a little side tip. If you find men's Japanese denim, if it says designed in Japan, or it looks like a Japanese writing or name, look those up because some of my very best sales ever have been Japanese men's jeans. I didn't know the brand, they just said on there somewhere, made in Japan, designed in Japan. Keep your eye out for that because it can bring in some good money. This is a brand, um, they, call, they, they said they are vintage military workwear. That's the inspiration for their stuff. It's a Japanese designer. This sold for $100 on Poshmark. And if you look on their site for like a new denim type shirt or something, they retail for around $275. The jackets are way more than that. The denim's way more than that. Here's what they said on the website about or slow. Um, from time-tested five pocket denim to 50s workwear, jackets cut from contemporary synthetic fabrics, or slow has a foot each in the past and the future. Pretty cool looking stuff. And a lot of this stuff, you guys, it's so important that we look at the website and what the stuff looks like and what their logo or name brand tag looks like because a lot of it's pretty minimalist, pretty simple, pretty utilitarian. So we really have to know the brand and be able to feel for quality, okay? Let me speed right along. <laughs> Okay, the last brand I found this year, and I found many, many more bolos. It was very hard to choose, but I wanted to choose a few that I thought you had a good chance of finding and were pretty exceptional. But um, I sold this Ghani dress this year, G-A-N-N-I. -N -N it's pronounced Ghani. I actually looked that up, the pronunciation. <laughs> Hopefully I got it right, you guys. Anyway, they're another eco-responsibly driven brand. Um, Feminine and laid back is how they describe themselves and affordable luxury. Lots of really pretty dresses with good prints, a little bit feminine looking. Um, I sold my Ghani dress in less than a week for $106 on eBay and dresses retail in this brand for around $344. So ready to wear feminine, laid back, affordable luxury. Um, this was a really good find. Okay, I have a bunch of other a bunch of other things I found, but I'm gonna keep moving this along for us. So a few brands that I want to find. I'm crossing my fingers in 2024. Let's get into it. One brand I want to find is Ula Johnson. So many other resellers have found this brand. I know because I watch your videos, your haul videos, or um, on Instagram, and it's like, why can't I find Ula Johnson? <laughs> Ula Johnson is described as free-spirited, feminine, boho. Bourgeois. A dress is like $595, you guys, but I've seen other people find them. They're beautiful, as you can see from the images, um, really pretty kind of whimsical, romantic prints, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. I really want to find Ula Johnson. Let me know if you found it. Okay, now, I don't know if this is against the Bolo video rules, but I'm bringing over another one from last year. <laughs> I made a video last year um, of Bolos I want to find, and this brand is still on my list. I really want to find Freebird boots. I know a lot of you have found them. It is not an, an unattainable goal. These are the coolest looking boots. If you see them and you're out thrifting, you will know it. They're very high quality handcrafted leather. They have kind of a biker moto, bohemian um, theme. 
very beautiful handcrafted leather. Knew these boots retail for like $350. I've seen people get $100, $150, $200 pre-owned on eBay for these boots. They usually have uh, chunky heels and lots of straps and they look distressed and faded like they're broken in, but that's the way they're supposed to, they're supposed to look. I know I'm going to find these in 2024. I really would love to. Very similar to that other brand I did find, the AS98. Very similar look. So keep your eye out for those. Another brand that I would like to find this year is Cezanne. I have seen many other people find it. Why haven't I found it? Now I live in Northern California and where you live definitely affects what you were able to find. Oh, we have a little interloper. Say hi. Hello. Come tell people to subscribe to your channel. This is my son Torvald, what a special treat. Can you go on your tiptoes? Tell them what your channel is. Oh yeah, my channel is called Gaming Plays. If you, but it only comes up if you search Torvald Plays, T-O-R-V-A-L-D underscore P-L-A-Y. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Yeah. How about that? But if you search Torvald Plays, Gaming Plays will come up and that's my channel. Torvald Plays equals Gaming Plays. Okay, Minecraft, um, kid-friendly videos over there for my son Torvald. Okay, so Saison, I've seen a lot of people find at the thrift store. I've never found it. It is inspired by Parisian fashion, okay? Um, a dress in this brand new would be about a $215. They call it affordable luxury, classic French clothing, also a sustainable eco-friendly brand, and neutral fashion. So when you look on there, you will see a lot of taupe and beige, a lot of um, neutral staple pieces. So I'm hoping to find that brand in 2024. Another brand I would like to find uh, is Christy Dawn. Again, it's a brand I've seen other people find. I just love it so much. I mean, I'm a Northern California girl, so I do lean towards bohemian fashion. I love beautiful floral prints like Christy Dawn makes, some ruffles, some lace. Um, they call it, their, their fashion has a romantic silhouette. They use a lot of organic materials. They have an eco-friendly brand and a unisex line now. So I'm going to look a little bit more into that. That sounds pretty cool. Really beautiful, uh, vintage-inspired romantic, which I absolutely love. So Christy Dawn, you're on my list. I'm coming for you this year. And last is a brand, did I have this on my list last year, um, is Spell. Formerly known as Spell and Gypsy, Spell and the Gypsy, is that what it was? But now it's just Spell. Um, again, so romantic, whimsical. It's an Australian brand. They want to um, inspire joy and beauty with their clothing. And I think they do a pretty good job with that. I, um, again, I've seen so many people find this, and I have not. And you would think in California, I would. But it could be because a dress from Spell is like $300 or more, and maybe if you spend that much in a dress, you're less likely to just donate it to the Goodwill, but I'm still, I'm still putting it out there I'd like to find. So those are my five. I would love to hear from you about um, if you found any of these brands. If you did, how did they sell for you? Um, where'd you find it? Definitely share brands that you're looking for down in the list. Okay, and I'm adding in this kind of bonus one. Why have I never found Skims? Am I the only person who has not found Skims? <laughs> I feel like Skims has been so popular. Um, they're known for like their bras, bodysuits, but they're also making a ton of other stuff, shorts, sweatshirt shirts. And if I'll pop up some eBay comps, stuff from this brand can sell for $40 and above for a pre-owned bra or bodysuit or something. Everybody finds it. I've never found skims. So, um, that's just a little aside. It's not like a brand I love so much like Christy Dawn or S Spell, but it's a brand that a lot of people are making some good money on and I've never found it once. So I'm putting it out to the universe. I would like to find these brands. I do believe you can manifest these brands by educating yourself about it, becoming very familiar with what prints, fabrics they use, what their, their name brand tag or logo looks like. I mean, there are times where I can spot something from across the room. You know, like if I see something Marameco with their retro looking prints, I I'm familiar enough with that brand that I can spot it from across the room or a fabric flipping through the bins and I feel something and I go, oh yeah, I know who makes this. So I do think the more we learn about these and educate ourselves, the more likely we are to find them. I'm wishing for you in 2024 that you find amazing bolo brands that you can sell online and make some money from. And not all the people who watch my channel 
even resell, they just love thrifting. So maybe you wanna find something like this for yourself or one of your loved ones. And lastly, after you've subscribed and given this video a thumbs up, please go into my description section, find the links for other resellers like myself who are making the same video. I'm gonna hop over and watch those videos too because the more we know, the more we can find and make money on. So, all right guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, today I'm gonna make this video absolutely perfect because it has to be out in two days. <laughs> And usually my turnaround for a bins video is like two or three weeks because I just have a lot of other stuff going on. So I've got to make this video in a way where I don't have to edit it. That is laughable. Mm. On sustainability, so same a bit. <laughs> Let me see if there's some other details I can get for you on this brand. This is a lot of work, you guys. I better get some good thumbs up for um, all this editing. All right, here's what they say on the website about Orslo. Orslo's designer, oh my gosh, don't even, I'm gonna skip that part. Here, I've got like one little hair. Come, That's why I'm fiddling with my bangs. I've got one little hair. I don't know where it is. It's like one little hair getting down in me. That makes no sense. Keep going, Q. Just keep on going.